Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the video where we will now do a summary of what we have went through for this whole video that first and foremost, do take note when someone says the word or uses the word end term it is the same as general term they are both synonyms of one another and why is there a need to find the general term from the results of the activities we have done previously with this formula for the general term we could actually find any term just by substituting the value of n and perhaps it is timely now for us to have a look that what we have went through actually most of the parts is by observation after we have the next two terms step one to predict the next two terms then it will be good to describe in words how you generate the next two terms then the prediction comes in where we can then through observations see how we can rewrite the numbers in a way that are able to relate back to the position number n and once we have the general term we do need to look back and check okay but what if i tell you now the two more commonly found examples it does not work all the time i need to uh, make this disclaimer now but most of the time when you are able to identify that it is a common difference pattern where we always add or subtract by the same number to the previous term then this is a very important formula for us to take note okay where we can simply use the first term mount uh, add the common difference multiplied by n minus one later i will show you with more examples on this how do we apply this formula okay and the other one common ratio this will be the formula where t0 is the term before the first term where we substitute n as 0 okay and r is the common ratio meaning the number that we multiplied by to the previous term let's start with some examples to illustrate these two okay formula